Wednesday night is our night of prayer. I would love to worship, but the main thing is we need to pray. Amen. Can we just pray the Holy Ghost for a few moments, beloved, before we get into prayer? Robo Sandaria Tana Ramanda Ramapurbo Daria Santana Ramanda Ramapurbo Daramania Robo Santana Ramanda Ramapurbo Daria Tana Ramanda Ramapurbo Daramania Come on, lift up your voices and begin to pray. Come on, lift up your voices and begin to pray. Robo Santana Ramanda Ramapurbo Daria Tana Ramanda Ramapurbo
will be tonight swallowed up by the power of God. Every opposing power. We know that when we read the scripture, we pray scriptural prayers. So people wonder where the prayers is coming from. So we give you scripture for what we pray for. In Exodus chapter 7 verse 11 and 12. But Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers. So the magicians of Egypt, they also did like manner in like manner with their enchantment it means sorcery or witchcraft for every man threw down his rod and they became serpents and Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods whatever serpentine spirit is operating against your divine destiny against your family tonight will be swallowed up by the power of his resurrection. Those of you are excited, just shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Just shout hallelujah. hallelujah. What a great God, what a mighty God, what an awesome God, what a miracle working God. In the book of Revelations, chapter 12, verse 16, Revelations chapter 12, verse 16, here we see another swell. The power of darkness will be swallowed up by the power of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said, but the earth yelled the woman and the earth opened. Yes. Tonight the earth will respond on your behalf. Hallelujah. The earth will open up Amen. with a woman and, and the earth open up its mouth and swallow up the flood which the dragon had spewed out of his mouth. Here a dragon was involved. He, he evolved and became a dragon. First it was a serpent. Now he evolves. He is Re, uh, receive strength to operate but the earth yelled the woman tonight we get to command the earth to swallow up every opposition to our position Amen. when the earth opened its mouth beloved it means it goes down into the abyss yeah. Yeah. hallelujah Amen. which yeah. the dragon spewed out of his mouth Whatever the enemy has activated and released against your life, every dirty water, every form of darkness that the enemy spewed against your life will be swallowed up by the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. It's the power of God at work. And the dragon was enraged with a woman and he went to make war with the rest of the offspring who keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you tonight, yes, when there's an operation of power in your life, the enemy are mad. Yeah. I said the enemy are mad. Yes. Yes. If he can't get to you, you will go to your offspring, but your offspring will be preserved. I said your offspring will be preserved. First Kings chapter 19 verse 2. How many of you are excited because of God, His power, His miracles in your life? Because of what He's doing in your life. There's something happened in the realm of the Spirit. God is doing something beautiful. Is doing something big in your life. First Kings chapter 19 verse 2. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah. Elijah said, So let the gods do to me and more also. If I do not make your life as a life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. There was a projection of evil powers released by 
a Jezebel spirit, a witchcraft power that said, by the time tomorrow, because you remove the prophets of Baal or the prophets of Baal, right now, I will make your life so bad you will become a victim. How many know you are not a victim? You are called to victory. Tonight we decree and declare. And there was a prophetic word against Jezebel in 2 Kings chapter 9. I didn't want to read all the scriptures, but it's very important that you know that the word of God is true. Any power that wants to make your life miserable, that is rising up against your life right now by the power of the might of the living God, verse 10. And the dog shall eat Jezebel of the plot of the ground and Jezreel. And there shall not be very hard. And he opened the door and he fled right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, any power of darkness that is working against your life, the earth will swallow that power. I'm not about Satan and about them. Any power that makes a threat into your life and said you will not live, but you will die right now. The power of God, I said the power of God is against the work of witchcraft, divination, and sorcery right now. Every power of witchcraft, what happened to Jesse will happen to the power of hell that is raised up against your life. But those who believe me, stand on your feet amen. and shout amen. amen. Come on, stand on your feet amen. and shout amen. 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 Every power of darkness. Every power of darkness. Opposing my authority. Opposing my authority. 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 In my place of birth. In my place of birth. Or place of assignment. Or place of assignment. Any word spoken against my life. Any word spoken against my life. Be swallowed up by the power of God. Be swallowed up by the power of God. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. By the word of the Lord. By the word of the Lord. By fire and by force. By fire and by force. Any curse that has been activated against my life. Any curse that has been activated against my life. Because of my previous victory. Because of my previous in warfare, in warfare, to want to make my life miserable, to make my life miserable by serpent time, by serpent time, dragon, dragon, and marine power, and marine powers. As I pray right now, as I pray right now, be terminated, be terminated. Be and be roasted by fire. And be roasted by fire. Every power of darkness. Every power of darkness. Opposing my authority. Opposing my authority. In my place of birth. In my place of birth. Or place of assignment. Or place of assignment. Be swallowed by the power of God. Be swallowed by the power of God. And he cursed that be directed against my life. Any curse that's been directed against my life. Because of previous victory in warfare. Because of previous victory in warfare. To make my life a misery. To make my life a misery. Through serpentine and dragon spirits. Through serpentine and dragon spirits. And marine power. And marine power. As I pray right now. As I pray right now, as I pray right now, as I pray right now, be terminated, be terminated, and be roasted by fire, and be roasted by fire, in the mighty name of Jesus, 
In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Right now. Right now. Be roasted by fire. Be roasted by fire. I terminate your assignment. I terminate your assignment. Upon my life. Upon my life. Upon my family. Upon my family. Upon my finances. Upon my finances. Upon my church. Upon my church. Upon my body. Upon my body. Right now. Right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on, lift up your voice and begin to pray right now.
Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 10. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Lord. And I will multiply men upon you, all the house of Israel, all of you. And the city shall be inhabited, and the ruins rebuilt. It means the life of this people were in ruins. There was no hope. God said, yes, where there is desolation, where there is drought, where there is no hope, hope will come back to you. I said hope will come back to you. Yes, and the, in, the city shall be inhabited again and shall be rebuilt. Whatever the enemy has destroyed in your life. You might have lost your house. You might have lost your future. You might have lost your business. You might have lost everything right now. It will be rebuilt. I said it will be rebuilt in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It will be rebuilt in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Second Samuel chapter 22 verse 17 to 18. He said from above, he took me and drew me out of many waters. Waters could represent people. <clears throat> the type of water is stormy like um, Jonah when he was thrown into the, uh, the sea because of the storm that came up because of his disobedience. He said, he draw me out of many wounds. Your life, you were supposed to die. You're supposed to have no Amen. future. You're supposed to go nowhere. He delivered me from my strong enemy, from those who hated me, for they would be strong for me. Doesn't matter how powerful the devil is. But he said he delivered me out of the hand of the enemy. Yes, Lord. How many knows it is such an exciting prayer tonight? Amen. And in power that holding your Jesus. prosperity, your finances, your futures. Some people's future is so strong. Somebody might have said, What have you ever achieved? your life and look down on you. Yes. They might have looked down on you because according to them you have done nothing. But God see uh, or he knows the people that you minister to, the people that were delivered and set free, the people that came into the house of God. The Bible said those who want souls is wise. Whoever looked down on you tonight, whatever power holds your destiny and your future yes, in captivity will vomit it out of their bed. From tonight, you will walk in divine favor. I said divine favor. Yes, Lord. Doors will open. Financial doors will open. Doors of favor will open. Doors of opportunity will open in the mighty name of Jesus. Can you stand on your feet and be going to pray? Amen. Any power, any power holding my prosperity captive, holding my prosperity captive, right. Vomit them out right now. Vomit them out right now. 
God of the heart right now. Any power. Any power. That's holding my prosperity. That's holding my prosperity. My future. My future. My prophetic destiny. My prophetic destiny. My children. My children. Captive. Captive. Right now as I begin to pray. Right now as I begin to pray. Bomber them out now. Bomber them out right now. Bomber them out right now. Bomber them out right now. That's holding me captive. Right now as I begin to pray. Right now as I begin to pray. Will, will vomit me out. Will vomit me out. At my place of destiny. At my place of destiny. At my place of assignment. At my place of assignment. As I pray right now. As I pray right now. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, lift up your voice and begin to pray right now. Come on, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. So he sent messengers and said to them, Go inquire of bills about the God of Ekron, whether I shall recover from this injury. He was a king over Israel. He did not inquire of the Lord. We find out today that there are many people in the house of God. They still run to a witch. <coughs> they still run to a Zimboma. They still let their cards be read, the tarot cards, whatever they call it. 
They still play these demonic stuff to want to know the future. They go to a psychic and the psychics come into the house of the Lord and deceive people and tell them, I'm a prophet, also a prophet. Tonight, by the power of the might of the living God, the power of darkness will be destroyed. Only the power of God will manifest in your life. I said only the power of God will manifest in your life. Hallelujah. And there are people, I mean there are church people for over 60 years. And when they die, they still die in witchcraft. Never set free, never renounced, never repented. Numbers chapter 24 verse 1. Now when Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel, he did not go as at other times to seek, to use sorcery, but he set his face towards the wilderness. Now, this is the type of scripture that shows me somebody that is used in the prophetic or any other area. You have to guard your heart. Because the Bible said that he seek sorcery. But not at this time he seek the face of God. That you and I as the child of God will seek God in purity. I said in purity and in holiness. That the pure word of the Lord will flow. Balaam naturally died as a false prophet and he was killed. So, in our walk with God, we need to walk pure. The Holy Spirit must be our souls. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 19. Verse 18, he says, he made us for signs and wonders. Verse 19, he talks about there are people that go and seek for familiar spirits. Those who go and seek people that die, like the president that wanted to go and see what God is, or what the ancestors is saying about the future. It means ancestral spirit, dead spirits, demonic powers. First Kings chapter 22. From verse 23. Hallelujah. From verse 17 to 18. Then the word of the Lord came to Elijah the Tishbite. No, it's 2nd Samuel, 2nd Kings. Sorry, 2nd Kings chapter 22 was in Lord. 17 to 18. Because they have forsaken me and burned incense to other gods that they might provoke me to anger with all the works of their hands. Hallelujah. Therefore my wrath shall be aroused against them. But as for the king who sent you to inquire of the Lord yeah. in this manner, you shall speak to him. Thus said the Lord God of Israel concerning the words which you have heard. Hallelujah. Yes. It's a requirement to seek the face of the Lord. 
continuous. We cannot see any other power. We only have to see the face of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to stand on our feet and we get to do the next prayer. Hallelujah. Any form of witchcraft, any, any form of witchcraft in my life, in my life, I renounce it. I renounce it, and I terminate. And I terminate its assignment upon my life. Its assignment upon my life. The word of God. The word of God is my foundation. Is my foundation. And the Holy Spirit is my source. And the Holy Spirit is my source. I will always. I will always. I will always. And the purity of. And the purity of. The souls and in my soul in my life in my life be uprooted be uprooted be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus right now right now right now right now right now right now in Jesus mighty name in Jesus Come on, lift up your voices and begin to pray right now. Verse 12 and 13. And your sacred pillars from your place. Sacred pillars is the Ezra Poles, the God of fertility. It brings perversion in many places, even in Paul. You see that thing that is that pillar 
with a point. There is an extra point. Demonic altars. So I will cut off sources from your hand. Yeah. From your land. From your community. From every area of your life. Yeah, Nahum chapter 3 verse 4 Galatians 5 20 talks about witchcraft as the work of the flesh. Joshua chapter 13 22 talks about Balaam the false prophet that died Amen. because they killed him because of his sorcery and witchcraft. 1 Samuel chapter 15 23 we need to read it because we believe that the word of the living God will come to pass. Amen. Those who believe say amen. amen. And every witchcraft altar amen. that is raised up against your life, every place where your name has been taken for evil will be destroyed by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When we allow rebellion in our life according to verse Samuel chapter 15, 23. The Bible said that rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Any form of rebellion is witchcraft in our life. Rebellion against the word of the living God. You see, many times in our life we disobey God through his word. The Bible said, bring your tithe to the store of spirit views. And that is rebellion. For rebellion as, as the sin of witchcraft. And stubbornness is as the iniquity of idolatry. Second Kings chapter 9 verse 22. This is our last scripture and then we get to pray. We get to believe God that any form of witchcraft will be annihilated will be destroyed over your life tonight Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray right now. Beloved, the Lord is good. Amen. I said the Lord is good. Amen. Somebody's life tonight will be turned around in 2 Kings chapter 9, 22. Now it happened when Joram saw Yahoo. Then he said, is it peace, Yahoo? So we answered, what peace? As long as the harlotries of your mother Jezebel and a witchcraft are so many. We can never live in peace where, where there's a witchcraft operation. I said we can never live in peace. Amen. We don't hate the people, but we hate the spirit that yeah. operate in and through that person or through that people. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can we stand right now? That is 2 Kings chapter 9 verse 22. Every operation of witchcraft. Every operation of witchcraft. Operating in my community. Operating in my community. Against my church. Against my church. Against my life. Against my life. Be cut off by the hand of the Lord. Be cut off by the hand of the Lord. And be roasted by fire. And be roasted by fire. Every operation of witchcraft. Every operation of witchcraft. And sorcery. And sorcery. Against my life. Against my life. Against my community. Against my community. Against my church. Against my church. As I pray right now. As I pray right now. Be cut off by the hand of the Lord. Be cut off by the hand of the Lord. And be roasted by fire. And be roasted by fire. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name.
mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, lift up your voices and begin to pray right now. Verse 23. As for the Almighty, we cannot find him. He is excellent in power, in judgment, and abundant justice. He does not oppress. Any work of the devil is the oppression of the enemy upon your life. How many? Any work of the devil is the oppression of the enemy upon your life. Second Kings chapter 17 verse 16. But the Lord who brought you up from the land of Egypt with great power and outstretched arm. Him you shall fear and him you shall worship. And to him you shall offer sacrifice not to the world how many times we do a lot of sacrifices for our children and sometimes the children get all the sacrifices God get nothing we got to place him first but the Lord who brought you up from the land of Egypt with great power and outstretched arm. Him shall you fear. Psalm 62, verse 11. Once God has spoken, twice I have heard that power belongs to God. Yes. Satan doesn't have power. The only power that he operates on in is the power that we gave to him. Jesus. Otherwise, he have no power over your life, Amen. over your future. Psalm 66 verse 7. God rules forever by his power. How many knows he rules tonight in your life? He rules tonight in this house. Forever. I decree and I declare right now. He rules in your life. He rules in your circumstances. 
I want us to stand and we get to make that declaration. We get to decree and declare that God rule forever by his power in my life. We decree and declare in this life we will experience the greatness of his power in signs, wonders, and miracles and the manifestation of the Spirit. Every other power will bow in the presence of the Almighty. Can we stand on our feet? This is our last prayer that we will pray. Hallelujah. 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 I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. That God rule forever by his power. That God rule by ever for his power. We will experience. We will experience. The greatness of his power. The greatness of his power. In this life. In this life. Through signs, wonders, and miracles. Through signs, wonders, and miracles. And the manifestation of the spirit. And the manifestation of the spirit. Every other power. Every other power. Will bow in the presence of the Lord. Will bow in the presence of the Lord. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. That God will rule forever by his power. That God will rule forever by his power. In my life. In my life. In this life. In this life, I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. I will experience the greatness of His power. I will experience the greatness of His power through signs, wonders, and miracles. Through signs, wonders, and miracles. Manifestation of the Spirit. Manifestation of the Spirit. Supernatural speed. Supernatural speed will be my portion. Will be my portion. Supernatural provision. Supernatural provision. Supernatural deliverance. Supernatural deliverance. Supernatural healing. Supernatural healing. Supernatural favor. Supernatural favor. From this moment. From this moment. I walk in it. I walk in it. I walk in it right now. I walk in it right now. Any other power. Any other power. Will fail in the presence of the Lord. Will fail in the presence of the Lord. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Sister Beverly Brown, 
Sick Magdalene, Sister Pauline, this is totally diabolic. I said, this is totally diabolic. Yes. Amen. It's unacceptable. Yes, Lord. Acts chapter 10 verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Yes. Went about doing good and you, you all that were oppressed of the devil. Amen. Because God was with him. Amen. Sister Pelay, Jerome Kudo, recovering after operation, Chesley Holland, recovering at home, Bronwyn Castewood, recovering after operation, Uncle Ernie, yeah. Pastor Joseph Engelbrecht, his fingers got in the machine, we prayed for supernatural speed, there's a diabolical power, Rusha 23, on ventilator, a type of hospital. How many know that everyone on this list, as we pray tonight, will be healed? Will be healed? I said, will be healed and will be delivered. Not maybe, maybe is when we don't believe God. Maybe it's up for people that don't believe God. Robo Santa Rama Corbomaria Satana Ramana Rama Corbomaria Satana Ramania. Robo Satana Ramania, stand on your feet. Come on, let us war against the power of hell, against the power of darkness. Listen, is an indictment against this house if anybody is sick in this house. Amen. Yes, God is the one that healed. Yes, Lord. But we need to place a demand upon the word of the living God. Yes. By His stripes, yes. you be made whole. Yes, Lord. The thief come to kill, to destroy. But Jesus said, I came to give your life. I come against the demon of lupus, sugar diabetes, heart diseases, every form of sickness and disease, every form of cancer right Yeah. 
As Jesus cursed the fig tree and command it to dry up from its roots, so I command cancer to die. I command loose lupus to die. I command sickness to go. In the name of Jesus, we honor you, we praise you. God of miracles, God of signs and wonders, show yourself mighty and strong. I command any form of paralysis to go. I command any form of sickness to go. Right now, I command pain. I command pain, the spirit of pain. I command it to go right now. The spirit of pain, I command it to go loose and let them go. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh. Hallelujah. Robo Satan and Amanda of a poor boulder of a caravan that he has sat on at Amanda. Oh, let the healing virtues flow. Let the river of healing flow right now. 
Let the angel of healing be released and activated in every room and every house where they cry out for a miracle. Tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I give you praise and I give you glory. I give you praise and I give you glory for a supernatural miracle in Jesus' name. My sister, what's your name? Deirdre. Deirdre. Just come and stand here. What is your condition? Your heart. Yeah. You believe God tonight? Are you sure? Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. Just lift your hands. Pray, are you a child of God? On the virtue of the power of the cross and the virtue of the power of the blood of Jesus. The Bible tells me something, my sister. That healing is the children's brain. That's what the Bible tells me. In Luke chapter 13, the Bible tells me that there was a woman, Luke chapter 13, a woman bound by a spirit of infirmity for 18 years. And they asked the question to the Pharisees, should this woman, who is a daughter of Abraham, not be healed on this day. What does a daughter of Abraham mean? A covenant child. If you're a child of God, you walk in covenant. So death is not your portion. Amen. I said death is not your portion. Amen. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Robo Sela Rabakurbonda, the Satana Ramanda, the Bakurbonda, the Satana Ramanda. Robo Kan la Kurbonda, the Satana Ramanda, the Bakurbonda, the Yatana Ramanda. Robo Kan la Kurbonda, the Satana Ramanda, the Bakurbonda. I speak for a creative miracle. Thank you. Right now, by the power of the word of the living God. Amen. That you shall live and not die. Right now, a creative miracle. Brand new heart to be formed in the name of Jesus. Amen. I come. The spirit of infirmity. Yeah. I command right now the high blood pressure to become normal. Right now. Right now. power come upon her, destroy every work of the devil, every form of sickness and disease, every heart effect upon her body. Right now, there's somebody that is watching, you got the same problem. Actually, unless they do a heart replacement, you will not be able to make it. But right now, God is doing a supernatural miracle upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak healing. I speak restoration. In the name of Jesus. Rachel, come sit here after. 
Robo Sama la Bacurbonda Ria Satana la Mandia Robo Satana la Mandia Somebody to speak down Somebody to speak up. Hallelujah. Father, I need to be on this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What happened to you now? You don't know. Tell me what is it that you could do and what you cannot do. So, okay, what I'm going to ask you to do now, just run through right around and come back. Yeah, run. Do what you not can. Yeah, always come, but again I hear the Lord says, 
tonight it is over, it is over, it is over, it is over. It is over, says the Spirit of the Living God. Remo under the city, shiki aborde, we shiki under the city. I heard as a pastor as we begin to pray, as I said at the back, and I begin to the year, I hear the Lord. God is going to he heal somebody. I, I, I hear the part of your lungs. I hear the Lord says of your lungs. The Lord says, I'm healing lung disease and liver disease. I heard the Lord only gave me two. He says, lung disease and liver disease. The Lord says, he's healing it right now. I hear the spirit of the living God says, for God says, this one woman, uh, it is a family friend of one person that's watching. You can come to the apostle, but the Lord says, your friend is in the bed because of liver disease. The Lord says, they said it's cancer. It's not cancer. It's a liver disease. And I hear the Lord says, he's healing liver disease right now because of prayer and because of fasting and because of seeking his face. God says, he's doing it. There's healing in the glory of God. And God says, I'm healing those two. For many, many times, doctors have operated for many, many times. People have said there is not a cure for that. But the Lord says, I am the cure for I am the healer, says the Spirit of the Lord. And just like I've healed, says the Spirit of the Lord, the, 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 the woman in bloodshed, I can heal. The Lord says, just like I've healed the blind man, I can heal. For the Lord says, just as I've raised up the dead, says the Lord, I can still heal, says the Spirit of the Lord. And I hear, I hear the Lord says right now, I hear the Lord says to homeowners, this is a word for homeowners. The Lord says, do not be afraid of losing your house because your house has been bought by the bank. You, you bought it through the bank, sorry. The Lord says, do not be afraid of that. For God says, I am the God, says the Lord, that still provides. For God says, as you have brought your full tithes to the storehouse, God says, I will provide for you. I will provide for you. As a homeowner, I hear the Lord says, the specific one you are watching, the Lord says, don't worry. As apostle has prayed and decreed, especially about spitting out, the Lord says, I will not allow you to be kicked out and to be embarrassed because I'm still the God, says the Lord that loves you tonight. I'm still the God that loves you tonight, says I see, as I, and I know it's not raining, so I know this is a spirit. I see a rainbow. I see a rainbow. And the covenant of the rainbow is that the Lord says, I will never over flood the land again. But I hear the Lord says, let the rainbow be a, be a sign unto you tonight. Be a sign unto you tonight that my promise is forever and eternal. My promise is forever and eternal, says the Lord. Whatever I've promised unto you for this year, 2022, I will allow it to manifest. For I am the God, says the Spirit of the Lord, that allows the rain to come down and not to return for it, says the Spirit of the Lord, but it will accomplish that which I have said. And that is take hold of this year because I will allow my word to manifest upon your life and the lives of your family, says the Lord. Amen. 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 Come on, give God the praise and glory. Part of the spirit of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Can we stand? We're going to close in prayer. Pastor Karen, will you come and close for us in prayer? Almighty God, Heavenly Father, tonight we give you the glory, the honor, the praise of Father God. We thank you, Father God, for answering each and every prayer that went out of Father God. Father God, thank you, Father God, for touching those people that are sick, oh Father God. Wherever they find themselves, oh Father God, distance doesn't matter with you, oh Father. And that's why we give you the glory, the honor, the praise, oh Father God, because we know that you are the healer, oh Father God. You are the Savior, oh Father God. You are the deliverer, oh Father. And that's why we thank you, oh Father God, for touching each and every one and setting them free, oh Father God, and delivering them, oh Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for breakthrough in each and every situation, oh Father God. Thank you, oh Father God, for those that, uh, as the, uh, they, they, they live in livelihoods, oh Father God. Lord, that it's a uh, trouble in their workplaces, oh Father God. Lord, that you 
give them a breakthrough, Father God. We may stay, oh Father God, Lord, that you come through for them, oh Father God, that they don't lose their houses, oh Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, as we leave here right now, oh Father God, that you will go with each and every one of us, oh Father God, that your hand of protection is upon our lives, oh Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit abide with each and every one until Jesus comes. Those who wait upon the coming of the Lord say, Amen. God bless you.